In a very exciting turn of events, Microsoft has just released Florence 2 model. Florence 2 seems quite interesting. It is an advanced vision foundation model that uses a prompt based approach to handle a wide range of vision and vision language tasks. Florence 2 can interpret simple text prompts to perform tasks like captioning, object detection and segmentation. It leverages their FLD 5 billion dataset containing 5.4 billion annotations across 126 million images to master multitask learning. The model's sequence to sequence architecture enables it to excel in both zero shot and fine tuned settings, proving to be a competitive vision foundation model. In this video, we are going to install this model and then we will play around with it. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Best Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU card which I am going to use for this video. So let's try to get it installed and see how it works. I am using Jupyter Notebook on my local system. You can run the same commands in Python code or Python interpreter wherever you like. Let me try to use this uh, Jupyter Notebook this time. So I am just going to first install Transformer below. I believe I already have Torch so, and I think I already have both of these installed so I'm just uh, installing it and that is already done okay so in the next step let's import all of this stuff and I'm going to paste it here so if you look here all I'm doing it I'm just importing transformers below and then request and all that stuff shouldn't take too long and while this is at star it is going to tell us it is working so i think something is not there which i have it installed okay so i just need to install this matplotlib i thought i already did it my apologies so let me quickly maybe i'm just going to put it here and i'm just going to say pip install and this and then let me run it again and this time it's it is worked okay that is good and it has also imported all the stuff nice next up let's import the model so i'm just using the model id and then i'm getting it uh, model auto model for causal lm and then processor which combines the tokenizer and everything bundled in one so let me run it and you can see that the model is being downloaded let's wait for it to finish and it's a very small efficient model you can already uh, see that it is it is finished let's define a prediction inference example function simple python code which is getting an input prompt and text input and then it is generating the output with the help of that processor if you have been following my channel earlier i just used to do it on the interpreter but this one i have just packaged it in the function as per their collab so that is done the simple run example function now let's grab our image and i'm just going to grab this image from hugging face website and i'm using pillows image library to open and save this image image is downloaded let me see what this image looks like sorry it should be something like this let me run it there you go so this is the image which we have downloaded looks good in the collab Okay, so we have our model, we have our image. Let's try to do some um, tasking on it. So let's first do a predefined task, which is something without any caption. And we were we are hoping that once we do that, this model is going to give us the caption as what is in the image. So let's run it. It is running locally. Let's wait for it to come back. It is loading the model. There you go. So the caption is. A green car parked in front of a yellow building very good okay let's try to get a detailed caption and this is the beauty of this model that you give it task and then it uh, manipulates the image as per that task so let's see what detailed caption comes in let's wait for it to come back there you go so this is a detailed caption that the image shows a green box um this Volkswagen Beetle parked in front of a yellow building. So if you look that like look at the image, it's perfectly described. Amazing stuff. Okay. Let's check out one more task. In the next task, 
I am asking it to give me more detailed caption. Let's wait for it. It be there. There you go. So it, you see, now it's here's the vintage Volkswagen Beetle car parked on Cobblestone Street. How good is that? Love it. Okay, now let's try to see if it can do object detection task. And for the object detection task, I'm just going to give it task as OD here. And then let's see if it can detect the objects. And object detection is going to detect where is the car, where is the tree, wall, and all that stuff. And it is going to give us the bounding boxes. So these are all the boxes, these are all the objects in numerical vectors which it has detected. And we can even plot it with matplot. So for that, let me put a function here. Again, it's a simple matplot function which takes the objects and then it plots it with the, all the uh, axes and stuff. So let me run it. That's done. And now let's see if we can get those object detection or OD results in the image format where it should make some uh, bonding bo boxes. There you go. So you see it has created this is a wheel, this is a car, this is a door. This is what object detection means in an image. You can also do the dense region caption. So let me show you what that means. I'm just going to first give and get the task done by the image. This will take a few seconds to finish. And then we are going to plot it with our function. So let me plot it. And once you plot it, there you go. So this is what a dense region is, the whole region. And then you can also get the region proposal result. Let me also show you what that means. So for example, this is the task we are doing in the region proposal. Let's wait for it to come back. Let's plot it. There you go. So this is a region proposal without any captions. You can even go with the phrase grounding, which are the predefined tasks. And uh, for example, let me show you what I mean. So let's do this phrase grounding. I'm just going to, uh, or maybe I'll just go with caption to phrase grounding. So this is the task I'm giving it. The caption to phrase grounding let's wait for it to come back and then i'm going to plot it let me plot it and you will see what i mean there you go you see a yellow building and then a green car and you can of course <clears throat> modify it as um, you can do it also you can do um, some sort of uh, referring expression segmentation so let me do that So for example, if I do the referring expression segmentation, let's wait for it to come back. It's easier to show than to explore, explain. And this will be hopefully work and we would just need to define a polygon in the code. So first let's it come back and then we will create it. It will take a bit of a time because it is just segmenting it piece by piece going through the image. There you go. So it has produced a lot of data there. Let's try to define a function. And this is the function which I just got from their GitHub. So what it is doing it, it is just taking the image, it is drawing the polygons, and then you can check it out once we define it. Let me actually run it. That is much better to show. And it will be just segmenting segmenting our car. Let me run it. There you go. You see, so it is just given it in the purple one, and you can of course plot it out. There are a lot of other tasks. Similarly, you can do the, for example, this is a car. You, if you want, you can go with like something like a wheel. You can do whatever you like. You can even go with um, vocabulary detection. It is going to do 
the OCR related task which you can do with it. For example, let me see if I could show you an OCR example. So if I grab this image and I'm just going to run it, there you go. It has just given that one. Let me, sorry, let me try to OCR. I just did the red one. Okay. So this is the OCR example I wanted to show you. So this is the image I have go, given here. Let me show you the image too. There you go. So this is the image we want to do the OCR on. So let's define the task of OCR. And then run the example. Let's wait for it to come back. And it is going to tell us what is written in the image. There you go. Introduction to high performance parallel computing and all that stuff. So you see that Florence 2 is a really, really very performant model. It can do a lot of tasks. I will drop the link to the model in video's description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.